Dr. Out, who would have thought? In who would have thought? In 2024, Jinder Mahal would have the support <laughs> of the internet wrestling community. All thanks to one man and one man only. Tony Bozo. What is that, Trout? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. That's insane. That one man the has membrane. one man has the power to rage, to go off, to literally get angry and rant just because of some little tweet and a disagreement online and we end up getting the gift that keeps on giving, which is Tony Khan tweeting some baloney ass reply to justify his product and his decision making. Holy snap. The modern day Maharaja. I really hope that at the next Monday Night Raw, when Jinder comes out and they do the oh, don't go nah, my man, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Boo -boo 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 -boo. <laughs> when that when that song hits, I hope the whole crowd does the the J Uso stuff, and they're like, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. would be amazing if Jinder Mahal can get that kind of reception from the crowd, and if the crowd is fully aware of what's going on, and if the crowd receives Jinder with a little hype, can you imagine? How crazy that would be. I mean, we would laugh at Tony Khan for the rest of our lives as wrestling fans for putting over a wrestler that we just thought, you know, was kind of lost in the sauce. I thought it was unthinkable at this point because let's face it. Jinder Mahal's a great heel. I don't care what anyone says. He is smooth on the mic. He's solid in the ring. He looks the part. You know, that guy is solid as it solid can be. Good stuff from Jinder as a heel. But for him to ultimately now look as good as he does, thanks to Tony Khan's, you know, childlike behavior. Oh, my God. That is mind blowing. How do you feel about all this? Uh cheddar going on trout rooney i i want to hear what you think because i know that you're usually straight to the point you either shrug it off you know but <laughs> what do you have to say about mr I, mr khan i think he needs like i said before he needs to get his twitter taken away <laughs> and he just needs i mean he just has a huge ego and that's mostly his problem you know he uh he's hot-headed it seems like and he's unrational unrational <laughs> All right, so let's take it to the comments here. Venom says, let's be fair, though. TK is kind of right. Jinder hasn't won a match in decades. Not true. He hasn't won a match in about a year, okay? He's also been managing Ender Sheer since says Jinder's a beast. Does he deserve a title shot right away straight to the top? No, but you got to look at the context behind it all. Seth freaking Rollins is a fighting champion. He's defended the title against multiple superstars that probably didn't even deserve getting that title shot right then and there but for one reason or another it was more acceptable because they're looked at differently it's all about point of view but last week all right when they announced that a returning wwe champion was coming back and it ended up being jinder mahal they were billing him like a like a guy who was a champion in the past you know they hadn't done that in a while so he came out gets interrupted by the rock is part of the most viewed segment on social media history, in social media history for WWE, how do you capitalize? How do you keep the momentum going? You have him interrupt Seth Rollins because Seth Rollins overlooked listing him as a, as a champion. And Seth Rollins and Jinder Mahal have put on bangers for NXT, whether it was the tournament or when Seth Rollins was defending the title. So they have history. There's a little bit of history there. And Triple H is all about long-term booking. He's all about history. He's all about, you know, moments. And, and, and rewarding you for remembering those moments. 
So, yes, in theory, because he's lost so many times and the power rankings are in the, in the mindset of the fans, he's a big loser now. You know, at the end of the day, I, I totally get the, the that perspective. But to sit here and say that, like, Jinder Mahal is undeserving. Like Jonathan Coachman said, Trout, remember I sent you the tweet. Jonathan Coachman said, I could have been champion. But it didn't lend <laughs> itself to the story. Anyone could be champion. Vince McMahon was champion. It doesn't like th this is all part of storytelling, guys. The logic needs to be within the story. And if Seth Rollins said, "I beat Drew McIntyre, I beat Jey Uso, I beat uh, you know everyone," he didn't mention CM Punk. CM Punk already said that he's entering the rumble right so cm punk coming out wouldn't make much sense but you know jinder mahaza is, is is a former champ he's a former champ a legitimate former champ david arquette won the belt come on an actor exactly so <laughs> to bring up hook's record because he's like what 28 he said here Hook is 28 and 1 for his career. Come on, how many of those matches actually had a good story and had some meaning to it? Exactly, Carter. They don't know if they want to tell a good story or have a good match. Like it's like they're undecided. It's like, come on. Again, Tony Khan can't be putting out that tweet like Jay Lethal hasn't had three title matches this year and not a single one on one win all year. He I, exactly Alistair Black. How about Alistair Black? All he's done is get involved in in multi man matches since arriving. So it just. It bothers me that someone like Tony Khan, with the amount of, you know, power and pull that he has, he comes online and tweets something like this, acting like a big old man child, just because he has the bank account that backs up, you know, whatever he wants to do. And he, look, he's a fan just like all of us. And I appreciate the fact that he is a fan. He is a mark for the product, especially his own. I would be too. You would be too. We're all freaking fans of the same form of entertainment, but you handle these things with a little more thought going into it. Because when you're reading this comment and the other ones that he put that followed, it just seems like someone that's angry. It seems like someone that's just shouting and crying and wants sympathy and doesn't want people to criticize him. And he wants to make everyone happy. I get it. He wants to be the good guy so bad without realizing he is slowly becoming what he despises about WWE and its history. And he's a fraud. Lex, why are you calling him that? Because the guy says that he's a fan of New Japan, that he's a fan of indie wrestling like Ring of Honor. And he, he's a fan of every promotion, every show, except for WWE, except for WWF, right? He's a fan of all of them. But there's pictures of him backstage at WWE shows. Representing the Jaguars. He signs everyone that worked for WWE. Whether it's behind the scenes. And wrestlers galore. But he doesn't watch WWE guys. No, he's not a fan of WWE. He's a fan of everyone else. He His favorite wrestling style was New Japan, ECW. He never watched WWF. No. Come on, man. Be better. Do better. Same shit I told WWE 2K in the last segment. We got to be better, bro. You're creating this rift amongst the community. 
just like Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy with that tweet, I just, you know, it's it's just counterproductive behavior. Matt Hardy tweeting about the Bucks being the greatest of the generation and, and that if it wasn't for them, this, that, or the other. Like, come on, man. Be better. I'm not perfect. No one is. We can't book the best show ever to everyone's mind because everyone has their own point of view. Maybe what I like is not what you like. My flavor is not the same flavor you enjoy. Our taste buds are different. So I, I, I don't get it, but thank you. Thank you, Tony Khan. And, and Jinder Mahal thanks you. Thanks to your rage, Jinder Mahal looks like a million bucks.